Question number 171, the nitrogenous wastes are excreted mainly as uric acid by all the given animals except and the options given are pigeon, cockroach, lizards and monkey. Uricotalism is present in insects, birds, reptiles and lactic snails. Pigeon is a bird, so uricotelic. Cockroach, insect, uricotelic. Lizard, reptile, uricotelic. Monkey is a mammal. Man, mammals are uriotelic. So correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's see the next question. Question number 172. A minute U-shaped blood vessel running parallel to the Henle's loop is called. And the options given are efferent arteriole, afferent arteriole, glomerulus and vasa recta. Efferent arteriole around the renal tubules form a network of blood capillaries known as paratubular capillaries. And the minute U-shaped blood vessel of this paratubular capillaries, which runs parallel to the loop of Henle, is known as Vasa recta. So, correct answer to this question is option number 4. In patient with malfunctioning kidney, hemodialysis is advised for the removal of X from the blood, and here X is, and the options given are heparin, urea, anisial, and glucose. Hemodialysis is done in case of uremic patients. In hemodialysis, nitrogenous wastes like urea, uric acid, creatinine diffuses into dialyzing fluid. So correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 174. An adult human excretes about dash gram of urea per day. Choose the option which fills the blank correctly. An adult human excretes about 25 to 30 gram of urea per day. So, correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 175. The main function of countercurrent mechanism of Henle's loop and Vasa recta is 2. And the options given are option number 1, make urine isotonic to blood plasma. This is incorrect. Option 2. Concentrate anisial in the medullary interstitium, producing hypertonic urine. This is correct. Countercurrent mechanism present in the loop of Henle and Vasa recta helps in creating and maintaining high osmolarity in the medullary interstitium by depositing anisial and urea. So, this is correct statement. Option 3. Cause vasodilation and thereby decreasing the blood pressure. This is correct with respect to AM. Option number four, send signals to cause a stretching of urinary bladder. This is incorrect. Correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. 